This is the new Audi Sky Sphere. It's a brand new electric convertible that shows you what Audi's alternative to the Tesla Roadster could look like. And here's the CarWow top 10 things you need to know about it. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Now, let's start talking about the front of the car. The Sky Sphere doesn't need a grill because it's electric, but Audi's given it one anyway. At least it also added a load of LEDs to distract you from the fakery. Audi and its fakery, what's it like? Now, these lights can show all sorts of fancy patterns when you lock and unlock the car, a bit like the lights you get on the new RS3, but much more complicated. Most new Audis, like the RS3, are quite angular and aggressive, but the Sky Sphere is much curvier, especially when you look at it from the side. Now, speaking of the side, just check out these massive 23-inch alloy wheels. They've been designed to be as aerodynamic as possible, but they look like they'll do a good job of hypnotizing pedestrians as well. Audi didn't just stick some fancy lights in the front, it also gave the Sky Sphere hundreds of individual brake lights. Audi says these are supposed to look like scattered rubies, but I think it looks a bit like someone carpet bombed the car with leftover Christmas decorations. What do you think? Do you prefer the look of the Sky Sphere to the Audi RS e-tron GT? Let me know in the comments below. The Audi Sky Sphere's party trick is its autonomous driving systems. It has level four self-driving technology, which basically means it can control itself on motorways and in heavy traffic. You don't have to do things like keep your hands on the steering wheel. It'll just do everything for you. Now let's face it, driving on the motorway and in heavy traffic is the most boring kind of driving, isn't it? But what's especially cool about the Sky Sphere is that you can hide the steering wheel and pedals away when you don't need them to free up some extra space in the cabin. They fold down and tuck themselves neatly under the dashboard. You can't do that in the Tesla Roadster, can you? No, you can't, can you? Where is that, Elon? In fact, where is the car itself? We're waiting. We've been waiting ages, actually. Anyhow, let's move on. A car's wheelbase isn't usually that exciting. It's just the distance between the front and the rear wheels but the Audi Sky Sphere can do something seriously cool. It can actually make itself longer depending on what driving mode you're in. It's a little bit like someone's dropped a special blue pill into its plug socket. Now, when you put it into autonomous GT mode, the car stretches out by 250 millimeters to make it as long as an Audi A8 long wheelbase. This means it's more stable at high speeds, more relaxing to drive. However, when you put it in sport mode, the car shrinks back to normal, which is about the size of an RS5. It also lowers its suspension by 10 millimeters and activates the rear wheel steering to make it feel more agile in the corners. The Audi Sky Sphere looks just as striking on the inside as it does on the outside. The starters, the doors open from the back instead of the front, so they look like a giant set of wings. And the Sky Sphere also has these cool low slung bucket seats that look like they belong in a stripped out racing car. Unlike the seats in a racing car though, these are super comfortable because they're made out of a special microfiber fabric and have loads of adjustment. Everything inside the Sky Sphere is made from sustainable materials. There's no leather anywhere and the doors come with trim made from sustainable eucalyptus wood. There's even a set of bespoke Audi branded luggage bags in the boot, which is handy because the Sky Sphere's entire rear end is see-through and each door comes with its own climate controls so no one can mess around with your settings. The Audi Sky Sphere comes with one electric motor and it drives the rear wheels. It makes 632 horsepower and 750 newton meters of torque, which is 224 horsepower more than you get in a rear wheel drive Porsche Taycan. This means the Sky Sphere is a lot quicker than that car. The entry level Taycan does 0 to 60 miles an hour in 5.4 seconds, but this new Audi will do it in four seconds flat. That's not far off the pace you get from today's full fat RS e-tron GT. That car has 646 horsepower and does 0 to 60 miles an hour in 3.3 seconds. And don't forget that benefits from the traction of its four wheel drive system. In fact, the traction is so good that the real time that the RS GT does not 16 is quicker than what Audi claims. Audi must have felt outdone by Mercedes' latest infotainment system because it's given the Sky Sphere a set of massive screens on the dashboard. These measure 56 inches wide and 7 inches tall. That's almost exactly the same size as the optional hyperscreen you can get in the Mercedes EQS. The Audi screens control all of the car's functions, but they also have extra features depending on which driving mode you're in. Put the Sky Sphere into autonomous GT mode and you can use all these screens to browse the internet, watch movies and even make video calls. You even get access to exclusive content and sporting events that can only be streamed in inside this very Audi. How bizarre. Also, the Sky Sphere comes with surround sound and specially shaped headrests that help muffle wind noise. So whatever you watch on the big screen, the sound should be as good as it looks. For the driving enthusiasts out there, you'll be pleased to hear the Audi Sky Sphere isn't just autonomous. You can still drive it yourself if you prefer. It comes with air suspension as standard that lets you choose between soft, comfortable modes and stiffer, sportier setups. But that's not all. 
the steering is a fly-by-wire system. So there's no physical connection between the front wheels and the steering wheel. This means you can customize exactly how much assistance you want and how many turns you need to engage full lock. You can make it light and easy for inner city driving, or you can add some extra weight to it to make it feel sportier on a twisty road. Audi hasn't revealed what kind of battery is fitted to the SkySphere, just that it's larger than 80 kilowatt hours. Batteries usually make electric cars really heavy, but that's not the case with the new SkySphere. Audi says it only weighs 1800 kilos. That's about 60 kilograms less than an Aston Martin DBS Superleggera Volante. It's not easy to say. And it's more than half a ton lighter than an Audi RS e-tron GT. Audi's also confirmed that the SkySphere should have more than 311 miles of range in economical GT mode. That's slightly more than the 300 miles of range you get from an RS e-tron GT with its 93 kilowatt hour battery pack. There aren't any other high performance electric convertibles like the SkySphere on sale yet. In fact, the only one that comes close is the Tesla Roadster, but it could be years before the Tesla actually puts the Roadster into production. But how would these two cars stack up? Well, on paper, it looks Looks like the Tesla has the edge. Elon's Roadster could do 0 to 60 miles an hour in 1.9 seconds, which is less than half the time it takes the Audi SkySphere to do 0 to 60. And the Tesla will hit a top speed of 250 miles an hour. Well, apparently. Audi hasn't said how fast the SkySphere will go, but I guarantee it won't be that fast. Plus, the Tesla Roadster has four seats, and the Audi only has two. Both cars have some clever autonomous tech, though, but only the Audi can completely hide away its steering wheel and pedals, and that could be a game changer. Now, we all know that the Tesla Roadster was supposed to be on sale by now, but it still hasn't arrived yet. However, Audi doesn't have any plans to put the SkySphere into production. Well, not yet anyway. Audi will use some of the design features on this car and use it in loads of upcoming production vehicles. Now, I reckon you'll be able to get a grill like this one on some Audis soon, and maybe even those massive infotainment screens. But the SkySphere isn't the only new concept car from Audi. There's another one called the Grand Sphere that'll be coming out in 2021, and that could give you a clue of what the next generation A8 could look like. There'll even be another car called the Urban Sphere next year, which will probably be a bigger, more practical SUV. But if you really want Audi to build something like the SkySphere, let them know now by liking the pinned comment underneath this video.